Here comes another important tip from the Personal Defense Network. Dealing with a target that's within one arm's reach, a target that will most likely be in contact with us while we're shooting, requires shooting from retention. Shooting from retention when we're very close is actually going to be relatively easy. If we can get our firearm out, that's going to be the hard part. Orient it towards the threat, make sure our body parts aren't in the way, and because we're in contact with the threat, it's not going to be very hard to make sure that we're actually aimed at it. When we're significantly far away from the target, of course, we're going to train to shoot at extension. But there's a gray area, and this gray area is what we call within two arms reach, but out of contact. And this is one of the areas where having a laser, a laser aiming device on your firearm, your defensive gun, is going to really be a huge advantage. In this case, if someone's standing there and I were to take a gun out and stick it to full extension, it would be very easy for that person to reach out and smack the gun offline. They might reflexively flinch and lash out at the gun as it comes towards them. That's why within two arms reach, everything really changes about personal defense. Now we don't want to stick the gun out at extension, we want to keep it in close. Well again, when I'm here in close, I know this gun is oriented at this bad guy. When I'm this close, controlling an arm, controlling a weapon in contact, I know exactly where this firearm is oriented. It's body aligned with the person I'm in contact with. But when I step back, I really don't know exactly where this firearm is pointed unless I turn on a laser device. If I have a laser device on my firearm, I consider it a tertiary aiming device. Our primary aiming device is going to be kinesthetic alignment. We're going to make sure that we get the full extension in and parallel with our line of sight. Our secondary aiming is going to be done with our sights, even on a subcompact pistol like this. But when I'm in a retention shooting position just beyond two arms reach, I can't use my sights and I don't have a good body index. I obviously don't want to stick the gun out, but if I turn a laser device on, now I know exactly where that firearm is oriented. I can take that shot, get the hit I need to get. This is the kind of advantage that a laser device like this side mount laser from LaserLight gives me when it comes to being able to use a firearm in a realistic defensive situation. Understanding how to use that laser, whether it's at extension for increased precision when you have low contrast with your sights, or especially in this case, when I'm just beyond two arms reach, I need to keep my gun in the retention position, but I also need to know where it's pointed, this can be a great advantage. If you have a laser device on your defensive firearm, practice this technique. Make sure you keep your body parts out of the way. Make sure you know your target and your background. Be sure to check out the Personal Defense Network for more important tips just like that one.